Hi there, Yogi Virendra Yogi is success philosopher because I have failed so many times in my life. Then I made a solemn resolve that anybody who wants to be successful, I can really assure him that you will succeed. You can reach any height. You can become a person of your dream. You can do anything and everything what any great man has done. Because all great men have the same intelligent substance what you have got. But you have to be ready for that. You have to have a develop. A tremendous passion and love for what you want to become in life. You have to have a burning desire. And you have to meditate intensely on such object. What is your dream? What is your desire? What is your vision? What is your mission and purpose? And then I tell you, if you have set your goal and you have also got backing of some of the best brains who are ready to help you and you have tremendous belief and faith in yourself and you are ready to stake even your existence for the fulfillment of your life, what we call going extra mile, I can tell you, you will be successful. That's the way the great people become great. Because they desire, they dream, they plan, they aspire, they stop, they stop, and never stop till they reach their goal. That is the way to be glory, greatness, success, and fulfillment of the dreams of your life. So hold an idea in your mind what you become, and that idea become your breath. That idea become your every cells of the body. You will never separate with this idea until the idea has taken shape of the reality in the physical existence. Because every thought has the tendency to transform themselves into physical reality. Thought in the mind has only made us what we are by thought was wrought and built. So we have a thought in the mind to become a person of our dream and that dream will become reality because once you have decided something, the whole universe is going to conspire to make it happen, beloved friends. I will give you some examples so that you will start believing me and becoming confident. Henry Ford, one of the greatest persons, who really gave the practical automobile of the modern time. His technique was very simple. The best machines in the lowest cost. They were all many, many inventors like Carl Bench and so many people discovered automobile. But Henry Ford became more successful. In that old time, he wanted to make a machine with eight valve engine, very powerful, and their engineers make an assembling different valves and then bolting it and making it a V8 engine. He suddenly thought some brilliant idea and he ordered his engineers. Now design eight valves in single block. And the engineers become very upset and they were feeling it is impossible, this cannot be done. But Henry Ford told, don't worry, don't worry for time, don't worry for money. You are working in my role, so it's your prime duty to fulfill my desire. Work and work, years together. They have different ideas, different planning. I want it, I must have it, you cannot say no. Yeah. The engineer several times failed, six months there was a meeting. But Henry Ford always told that we have to do it, and you can do it. You may fail a thousand times, don't worry for it. Keep on trying, keep on trying, keep on trying. And your friends, you know, after a long struggle, the engineer succeeded. Who was successful? It is Henry for determination. Commitment, I want it, I must have it. Man, you can also have it if you want with that passion, that devotion and that belief. You fail and fail and fail and fall. But you believe that you will succeed and you will succeed. <laughs> Another example I give you of Julius Caesar, you know. I came, I said, conquered. That's a good determination. I have set a goal and I must get it and I will go there because I'm ready for it. I'm going to sacrifice everything else. Do or die is my attitude. Win or perish is my attitude. Victory or death is my motto. I don't know anything else less than what I want in life. <laughs> that is only making people great men. Julius Caesar wanted to conquer one of the highland of the arch rival British. And his soldiers were timid, they were afraid of the British soldiers. Then after these, uh, you know, 
Julius Caesar had a wonderful idea and plan. He suggested his soldiers to hire sheep, boats, everything else, and attack the British island in midnight. So they reached the shore of that island, and when he reached there, then he did a miraculous, a very fantastic job, which is very, very betraying to his soldiers. 